Hi, I'm Thomas O'Brien. I'm a university professor from Australia, but I've been teaching in Britain for the past six years. Now, for years now, I've been searching for a good dentist and a complex solution to a long-standing dental problem that I've had. I searched the internet, um, I, I looked at all the possibilities, but I simply couldn't decide. And then a mate of mine, Sean Fergal, who just returned from Hungary of all places, told me that he had his dental treatment done there. And what a great time he had in whole mayonnaise vache. And I said, like, where? Like, hold the mayonnaise? Like, what are you talking about? Now, I know that the name of this town is almost impossible to pronounce, but believe me, it's on the map. And the reason I agreed to be your guide in this film is because I'm here at the moment for my final treatment to get my new smile. And I have to tell you that this is the world's calmest little town with the best, most brilliant dentists and oral surgeons. So stick with me so I can introduce them to you. So on the advice of my friend Sean, I called their local representative and he invited me for a free consultation where I took my panorama x-ray that I'd had made earlier. After about half an hour talking with one of the oral surgeons and the other representative from Hungary, I felt that I was in good hands. A few days later, they sent me the dental plan for their services, and that's when I knew that the time had come. I was going to Hungary. I scheduled my trip over the phone with their local representative, who sent me all the details via email. My coordinator was waiting for me at List Ferenc Airport in Budapest with a nice comfy car for the one and a half hour drive on the motorway. Now the drive from the airport would have taken just as long to downtown Budapest. But this way it was much faster and there were no red lights on the way. My lovely coordinator informed me about every tiny detail on the trip down and we sparked up a friendly conversation, which certainly helped quell any fears I may have had, because having gotten to know her, I no longer felt that I'd be just a mere stranger in the room where they'd be treating my most important body part. Early the following morning, the head of the clinic, Dr. Chopper Borbart, greeted me personally and told me step by step about every phase of my treatment. They then did a panorama x-ray and even a CT. I was quite surprised about the pleasant atmosphere of the dental clinic and how well equipped it was. I counted at least seven dental chairs in which they perform even the most complex sedative dental operations. With the x-ray and CT in hand, the dental surgeon was able to plan my implant with millimeter precision. Following that, we discussed my final treatment plan I was given a letter of consent, which I read and signed, and finally, I started to relax. First of all, I had a consultation with a medical doctor who examined me. Whatever kind of operation you have, it always requires a great deal of precision and expertise. And like most people, I too am terrified of any dental intervention. Here, I was surrounded by a whole team, and then I was sedated. The laughing gas sure took its effect, which meant that I couldn't feel a thing and I lost all track of time. There was a nature film playing on the TV above me, and as I watched it in an almost lying position, my thoughts wandered off. Altogether, I received eight implants and they even did a sinus lift operation on me. After the operation, my coordinator escorted me to a lovely room where I had a good sleep under medical supervision over the next few hours after which I was escorted back to my apartment. The next day, I felt far more relaxed during the soft laser treatment. The tension I'd felt for years because of my teeth was finally gone. The days that followed were spent resting and with checkup treatments at specific times every day. I never had to wait for anything. To 
my surprise, the waiting room was full of patients from a wide variety of countries. I got to know a chap named Michael who'd gotten implants under sedation and even osteopathy. It was good to be able to just chat about all this with someone who knew exactly what I was talking about. Our escorts followed us to each examination, attentively and discreetly. And I soon came to realize that this is how they do things here. I had to come for my next treatment six months later. That's why I'm here now. But in the meantime, just for my own reassurance, I went for an aftercare back home to meet with the dentist who was overseeing my recovery to discuss all the details of the second phase of my treatment. So I arrived for phase two a whole lot calmer, together with my brother in arms who I'd met the first time I was here. Actually, I heard that this was quite common because people often make really good friends here and the second phase of their treatment is often scheduled so that they can meet here again, just like with Michael and me. And can you imagine, they put me in exactly the same apartment I was in the first time around. And that made me feel even more at home and relaxed. In this phase, I was put in the capable hands of Dr. Vadab, who's a specialist in implantation prosthetics and aesthetic dentistry. He only conducted minor treatments on me, and I finally got my new smile. At my request, the dental technicians immediately adjusted and corrected the color and form of my teeth, because the clinic has its own fully equipped technical department with eight full-time dental technicians. Prior to my treatment, I was able to choose from several of the clinic's own apartments that are only a few minutes walk away. They've all been designed to meet the needs of foreign patients. The other alternative they offered was the Ginkgo Four Star Hotel. Well, I chose the apartment because I felt it would be more comfortable to spend a week in a beautiful, cozy two-room flat with satellite TV, internet access and a modern kitchen. After all, you come here to rest and recover. That's why this is more than just a big town. It's like a small garden suburb of a big town, and it's completely safe, so you can take long, relaxing, calm strolls in the evenings. The restaurants are exceptional, and the mood and beauty of the town square is enchanting. Stretching out in the thermal waters of the local baths is pure therapy itself. Apart from the checkups and inspections, phase two was all about resting. Before I went home, I even spent a few days in the clinic's own apartment in Budapest so I could show my new smile to the people here and let them know what great dental professionals they have in their country. Overall, I was absolutely and completely satisfied with everything. I certainly saved a great deal of money by coming here, but that's not the best thing about this clinic. I received exceptional care and attention and thoroughly professional treatment. And now I'm absolutely certain that this clinic was the best choice. Their decades of experience are a guarantee that whatever problem I have, I know I'll find a solution on one of their free checkup days. And during my stay here, I was very reassured by the fact that I met with many British, Irish, German and Italian patients too. And that can only mean one thing, that this clinic operates to international standards. I would highly recommend this dental center to my friends, family, and you. Hey, and don't forget, the smile on your face reflects your personality and your zest for life. Thank you.